you get scared, don't be ashamed, it happens. Fear in animals can actually really affect their ability to perform. When animals are scared of getting eaten by predators, they will often eat less and they'll often even reproduce less. So fear can have really important effects on animals, but it doesn't have to come directly from sensing a predator. Fear can also come from sensing similar individuals around you getting scared. Think about visiting a haunted house. So when you go through, you're a little more confident when you have your buddies around you. But of course there is that one really screamy friend with the really stabby fingernails digging into your arm. His or her behavior can really affect how you respond to the fear stimulus. Now this information that you get from other individuals around you is what we call social information. Amazingly, not only can social information travel across really great distances, but it can be spread across very distantly related animals. The study of social information is revolutionizing how we think about animal behavior. But it's really hard to study this stuff in nature. You have to observe and collect data from the behavior of not just one individual, but of multiple individuals at the same time and usually over a really wide area. In coral reefs where we have a wide variety of different species of reef fish living together, social information could have really important effects on the behavior of the fish, particularly when they're trying to avoid predators. So I'm thinking about all this while I'm relaxing in a hammock in Mexico while I was teaching a class there, and I come up with a crazy idea. What if we built a jungle gym-like structure that we could hang cameras from, which would allow us to watch fish behavior from above, and to see not only how do they respond to predators, but how do those responses depend on the other individuals around them, the social information in the system. I had no idea if this was going to work, but immediately after Mexico, I flew to French Polynesia to start a three-month field season, and one of the first things I did was drive over to the one plumbing shop on the island to see if I can get the supplies to build this monster. The guys at the plumbing shop laughed at me. They had no idea what I was doing. I thought it was a crazy, crazy idea, crazy concept. They actually just had enough PVC joints in stock to allow me to build this thing. But the catch was they had to order these from all the surrounding islands. So if you were in the Society Islands at the time and you were trying to work on a plumbing project, I apologize if I slowed you down. So I got all the supplies and I decided I needed to build this bad boy on land first to see if it would even hold up in the air let alone water, moving water. It's alive! Now that I got it built, it was time to give this monster a name. I know what you're thinking. Death Jungle Gym. I was thinking the same thing. That is until I arrived at an obvious winner. I actually built two of these babies, and I decided, along with my buddy Andrew, who was my partner in crime on this project, that it was time to see if these monsters could hold up under field conditions. What happens when we actually put them in the reef? So the plan is we're going to deploy them first thing in the morning. After a beautiful night, we hope for great weather that morning, and our hopes are shattered. We get these really intense trade winds, but we're way too excited to not put the fear frames out. We figure it's shallow water, ain't no thing. So we get out there, and uh, immediately things are not good. Imagine trying to put together a complicated jigsaw puzzle while swimming over waves, and while also getting blasted in the face with seawater every few seconds. After a few hours with very little progress, we decide we've got to scrap this and head back defeated to the research station. 
Everyone on station thought we were kind of crazy for trying to do this project anyway, so it was a bit of a hit to the pride to have to drive the boat back with the frame on board. Remember, we know that the kind of footage that the fear frame could capture, no one has ever seen before. We're not going down without a fight. No! It's from without the darkness hiding before the picture. Lost the value, 